Maybe it's because I'm Canadian, but this fun block reminds me of a donut. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a nine inch donut block. This block is a fun variation of a traditional favorite, the shoe fly. To make the donut quilt block, you need all the same pieces that you would use for a shoe fly block. So I'm making a nine inch quilt block so my pieces are going to be three and a half inches square. And this block uses light and dark. So I'm just using two fabrics, but you can always use scrappy light and darks for a different look. So I have a dark three and a half inch square. I have four light three and a half inch squares and four light and dark half square triangle units. And these are three and a half inches square. Now, if you don't know how to make half square triangle units, check out this other video that shows a te technique, but you can use whatever method you want for making your half square triangle units. Just make sure that these are three and a half inches square. So now to lay out the block, we're gonna put our dark square in the middle, and then we'll put the light squares at north, south, east, and west. And of course, for a shoe fly block, the traditional block, you would have your dark triangles pointing in toward the dark center square. But for this one, we're just going to rotate those so that they are pointing out. And there we have the donut block. So now we're just going to join this the same as a traditional nine patch block. It's three by three. So we will just join their three um, pieces into rows and then join our rows together using a quarter inch seam allowance. So normally in piecing, we press our seams so that they go under the darker fabrics. But in this scenario, this is a time when I'm pressing the seams so it goes underneath the lighter fabric because in this piece with the half square triangle, we have extra fabric in that seam. And if it was pressed this way, that would leave a big lump in the seam. So we're pressed these seams to the inside. And that means on this piece, the seams are pressed to the outside. And then when we go to join those, then they just nest together nicely when we stitch that seam to finish the block. So here it is, the finished donut block. And of course, for a different look, you can always switch around the light and dark orientation. Have fun with this block and using it in your own quilt projects. For more quilting tips, patterns, and tutorials, be sure to check out my website, evadastudio.com.